All right, so tonight's uh, topic that we're going to be talking about is developing a strong personal or borrowed story. And I, I want you all to really think about this, and I want you to think about this in context. You know, uh, we're going to be going through these uh, setting, uh, uh, these, these little items for gaining interest. It's kind of setting the stage for success in the way that you approach people. And these items are going to be your starting point, which is what we went over last week, you know, the necessity of creating a list, the necessity of using a tracking sheet, a memory jogger, you know, the most forgotten step that most people do, but probably the most essential step, writing that list down without any discretion. Um, tonight we're going to be looking at your personal and borrowed story and some ways that you can build a strong personal and borrowed story, but watching the videos, your self-training, your field training with a certified trainer, uh, buying the Money Max account program is a great way uh, to create your own personal story uh, with the program. I got to tell you, the most successful people we see as agents, Steve, wouldn't you agree, are the people that purchase the program and use it. Yeah, I mean, there's no question. And then some of their stories, I mean, everyone I've heard is phenomenal. I mean, it's gives you chills every time you hear somebody that's an agent that's purchased it, their conviction is, is just unbelievable. And I think you hit the word conviction. Something about having that personal story through utilization of the product, it almost makes you bulletproof because people can come back at you and say, well, I don't know if that works, and that sounds too good to be true, and all these other objections or minor objections we can get. And when you own the product, when you use the product, you can look right at them and say, you know what? I I'm not exactly sure what you've been told, but I use the product, and I know the product works because it did ABC for me, and we'll go a little bit deeper into that. Your 15-second commercial is going to be next week. We're going to talk about how to develop a good 15-second commercial, the litmus test, the 1 to 10 scale that we see in the GPS training system, and all of these items actually are utilized in the GPS training system. We're just breaking them into individual pieces so you kind of understand what each one of them is. And then setting that appointment in stone from that first glance. So this setting the stage for success is really your introduction, your gaining interest of the client and how you kind of gear and control that and move that forward so you're constantly moving the client forward. Your personal and your borrowed story, nothing is more powerful to a prospective client or agent than a compelling personal forward story. While the numbers really detail the impact of their financial decisions, nothing speaks to a prospect like a personal story. And I want you to think about this a little bit. When we start talking about a personal story, just think back in your life over maybe some of the relationships that you've had or maybe some of the things that have been influential in your life or maybe some of the analogies like Steve and I both come from kind of southern-based families, and a lot of our learning inside the family was stories. Um, you know, they tell you you had to learn reading, writing, and arithmetic, but you really learned the culture of who you were, and you really learned the trust factor and everything through those stories, through yeah. those analogies. And so a good story, a compelling story, a story, and, and here's the key, a story of success or failure is always remembered. I mean, many times, isn't it odd that people truly remember stories of failure a lot stronger than they remember stories of success? Yeah, it just seems to be, for some whatever that reason is, I don't know, sometimes negativity comes into it, but, you know, I don't, I don't know what causes that to happen. I mean, maybe it's the pain element that, that people are empathetic to it, and they've been through bad situations, and when somebody's doing real good and somebody else isn't doing real good, they're not so in love with their good story, but that story of, of struggle, that and what I like to say here is, here is an opportunity with your personal borrowed story to be vulnerable with your prospect. You know, maybe things weren't working out for you financially. Maybe you had a lot of credit card debt. Maybe you had a lot of student loans. Maybe you had a lot of house debt. Maybe you had put yourself in a position that you couldn't see the light at the end of the tunnel. And we'll, tell, and we'll talk to you about how to, uh, through this, how to kind of morph that into a good story. You know, people may forget the concepts and information that you give them. You know, we were doing the training this week, and, uh, you know, right after doing compliance marketing, we had a couple people come up and ask us, well, can we do this? And it was what we had just gone over that they couldn't do. Yeah. And so many times when you sit there and you give so much information at one time, 
you're lucky if the average person retains 10 to 15, 20 percent, if they retain 20 percent, they're retaining a lot of it, but it's amazing when you hear a good joke or you hear a good story or whatever that is, you can recant all of that information to somebody. You can go back and pull on that information. While they may forget these concepts and the information, you know, that we give them from a PowerPoint or the analysis or the demonstration of the product, no one forgets a compelling story. And I just have to tell you, purchasing the Money Max account is the best way to develop that strong personal story. Uh, just the utilization, something about that, it connects the dots and it kind of completes the logic stream for the agent as now someone using this product when they're trying to explain it to someone else. So there's three basic elements to a good personal story. The first is what was your situation? This is where you have that opportunity to be vulnerable with the client. The second is what did you find to resolve the situation? And then the third is what were the results of that resolution? Now, if you were answering a question to somebody, you could almost put this in the feel, felt, found category, couldn't you, Steve? Yeah. yeah, yeah. You know, uh, what was my situation? Oh, I was in the middle of this. I was feeling this. I was going through this. This is what was happening. Um, you know, but, you know, through searching, uh, and this is the way it was making me feel about of it, but as I researched more, um, I felt a little bit differently, and then I finally found my solution, which is my feel, felt, found. So let's just give you an example of what one of these might look like for you. So starting off, my wife and I were scheduled to pay back over $465,000 in total debt and interest over a 28-year period. You can insert whatever you want to insert there that works for you or, or a situation that you knew about or an analysis you ran. That didn't fit well with it. So that's the situation, right? So then we go into, as it was, we were, uh, we were aware and looking for a solution. We were introduced to a very powerful debt elimination uh, program. So we were looking for a way to get out of this. Um, we knew we were going to be spending too much money in interest. You know, how elaborate you want to go into, it's up to you. Just remember that people have a short uh, attention span, so you don't want to go too long. Uh, with this, but you're setting the stage that here was my situation. I was in a bad way. I was looking for solutions, and in this search for solutions, I was introduced to a very powerful debt elimination program. Through a free savings report, we found out the program will save us over $220,000 of total interest, and all of our debts will be paid in full in 9.3 years. We're able to do this without having to refinance or consolidate our current debt and with no change to our current standard of living. We were totally blown away when we saw our initial report, but in fact, we are ahead of that report. Using the program has opened a whole new world of possibilities to us and our family. Now, that's a good story, and, and they may say, well, tell me more. They may say, huh, and just run away. Yeah. I mean, which could happen, or that sounds interesting. But if you get a very good positive response, like, wow, man, that sounds pretty amazing. You know, what company was that? You know, how did you go about finding out what the company would do for you? You always, when giving a personal story, want to have kind of a backup statement to whatever they say. And we're just going to say they re responded positively. And your next response would be, would you like to see if you would qualify for the same program? Now, it could also be that it goes into deeper into the conversation and, you know, you're, you're talking more about what the company is and you're now defining, is this person more towards product? Is this person more towards uh, agency? But remember last week, something that we stated is that with every single person that you approach, you really have the same goal in mind. And that's whether they're a prospect or an agent, the goal is trying to introduce them to our sales process so you can get the buy-in on either side, agent or client. But in doing that, you're driving them to give you their numbers for a short questionnaire, for a savings report. I don't care, I, I don't care if the guy tells you, you know what, I have no interest whatsoever in buying this product. I still want you to take them through the sales process and still want you to try to run an analysis for these people 
because the last thing we want is somebody out there representing the product that doesn't have any context to how the product operates. We kind of, it kind of goes back, really back, I mean, you and I have been in the sales business a long time, and, you know, there are a lot of people on the call tonight that have been, but, you know, the simple things that we've learned, and it goes back to what you just said a minute ago, you can, it's so easy to go back to that feel, felt, found situation, you know, regardless of what somebody says, and, 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 and if there was maybe no response, you, you might tell them, hey, listen, let me tell you how I, what I found out and how I resolved my problem and how I was able to find out through a special program how I could eliminate all of that debt and how to really do something special, not just get rid of my debt, but now I can start accumulating some wealth for me and my family. Or, you know, I, I felt the same way. Listen, I felt the same way as you. You know, I didn't, I didn't totally understand how it would work. But by running my analysis, was it was very simple. It was a simple solution to uh, my resolve yep. of, of solving that problem. You know, in the personal of our story, it doesn't have to be, you know, what we're giving you here, it doesn't have to be in any order. You may just have a conversation with somebody, and they're expressing all of their discontent with their current situation financially, trying to get out of debt, maybe other programs they've tried, whatever it is. And that may be the time for you to inject your personal story in that kind of feel, felt, found uh, run. It may be they ask you, you know, hey, what do you, you know, why are you experiencing such prosperity? I noticed you just got a new car, family, friends, whatever. That might be a place to interject that personal story. So we're going to find as we're going through what we call gaining interest or the introductions or the steps uh, to setting the stage for success. These are all interchangeable. It should be very organic. But you should have all of this information kind of memorized, a couple of personal and borrowed stories, a couple of litmus tests, a couple 15-second commercials, just so you have it. But in this personal and borrowed story, you want to hit those three points. Here was my situation. Here's what I tried to do to resolve it. This is what I found, and this was the eventual resolution. Let's give you another example. Um, I have a large amount of credit card debt and student loan debt totaling over $175,000. I realized making the minimum payments on my credit cards and student loans would take me over 20 years to pay it all off. I looked at consolidation, personal loans, anything to help me to eliminate this debt or at least reduce it. Nothing was working for me. Looking for a solution to my dilemma, I was introduced to a program that said I could be out of debt in 10.2 years and save over $105,000 in interest. I investigated further and found that they were a reputable company with a great track record, so I signed up for the program. To my astonishment, I am actually doing better than the free savings uh, report they did for me, uh, the free savings they uh, did for me stated. I recommended this program to everyone I meet. So here's just another way of you know, phrase it, but you have those three basic components. I'm just trying to give you some ideas of where you can pull from. Maybe it was, you know, I had a mountain of credit card debt and it had gotten out of hand and I, I was finding it hard to even make minimum payments. I was playing the 15 to 18 month interest free credit card game of transferring my balances and it just became overwhelming. It might be, uh, you know, Heidi Keener's story when she does some of the GPS training when she was talking to a lady talking about why is it so important for you to get out of debt now? And she was, well, I ran up $40,000 of credit card debt. And, you know, the question was, well, what would happen if I couldn't help you? And the response was, well, my husband doesn't know about it. And it could seriously affect my marriage. So these little personal stories are also a way of drawing the client out to get them to open up as well, but they can also be a counter to when that client um, uh, is just really expressing themselves that you have a relatability uh, a story that you can tell them that one doesn't make them feel they've done anything wrong, two doesn't make them bad, and three that somebody else has been in a very similar position but found relief through that process. You know, there's rarely a <clears throat> there's just rarely a situation in life uh, as we all look at it, and we all probably have experienced it one way or the other. We either personally or we know people that it's happened to, uh, you know, one of the biggest things that really destroys and hurts families is, is debt, is money. And, um, you know, if you've got an answer and a solution to that, this is not some little deal that we do. These, these make changes in people's lives, and these are all a part 
of these stories that Max is telling you about as you either borrow someone else's story or you, you've got your own story or maybe you've developed one. Even that comes into play and, and is important. You know, and we hear a lot of times, I don't have any debt. How many times do we hear that in some of the yeah, occasionally? Yeah, that people are, you know, I don't have any debt. I was told that if I don't have debt, I don't need to purchase uh, not always a money case account. Um, no, and we're not always sure that that's the case, but uh, how do I develop a compelling story um, if I don't have any debt? Well, it's very, very simple. You borrow one. Uh, and, and that's what we're talking about here. The words are interchangeable as we move through the process with the client and you're being organic in this conversation with the client. To say something along these lines, to say, you know, I had some friends that were scheduled to pay back over. Do you see how I've just barely changed some of the wording? Um, I had some friends that were scheduled to pay back over 465000 in total debt and interest over a 28-year period. That didn't sit well with them. This is that first personal story that I showed you, just reworded as it was, uh, introduced them to a very powerful debt elimination program through a free savings report. They found out the program would save them over $220,000 of total interest and all of their debts would be paid in full in 9.3 years. They were able to do this without having to refinance or consolidate their current debts with no change to their current standard of living. They were totally blown away when they saw their initial report, but in fact, after uh, staying in touch with them, they are actually ahead of their initial report and very excited. Using the program has opened the world of new opportunities and possibilities for their family. Now, borrowing a story, that's great, but I'm still going to tell you, there is nothing like your own personal story. Borrowing the story, if it was a friend of yours, it sounds great, it has great impact, it'll speak to most people. But I'm telling you, people, it, if you are in this company and you have debt and you don't buy the product, you're missing out terribly. I'm not going to tell you we won't do business with you. I'm not going to tell you you have to buy the product to be a part of the company because you don't. Mm -hmm. But I am absolutely telling you that if you have debt and you're an agent with this company and you don't buy this program, uh, you're missing out on a great way to capture other people's attention and really have uh, that personal connection to the product, to the business, and be able to personally relate that to other people. And then it doesn't come across as just some story you're telling because your own passion, your own excitement for the situation because it's yours will lead through in that conversation. And just remember when you're doing these stories, you always want to see how they're responding and it's not like you have to go through every one of these pieces in order to get them to an appointment. If they're like, man, that sounds awesome, I want to know more about it, just ask them right there, is that, would you like to see if you qualify for the same program? Can we set up an appointment for Tuesday or Thursday? You know, if you're in that training schedule, hopefully you're contacting these people over the phone or via email and you do the three-way call and you get your certified trainer to set up that appointment for you and then you be on that first a split sale certified training appointment from the analysis all the way to the presentation of results all the way to the close of the sale. These are integral parts to your process and the training process that we have just, uh, you know, hearing numbers like we heard this past week, people closing anywhere from 80% to 94% of the people they came in contact with just by following a process. And I think, you know, Steve, that's one thing that you've always been really big in is that process, making sure that you have a process that's down. And why is that so important to the agent to stick with something that, that is fundamentally correct and is duplicatable? Why is that so important? Well, we talked about it earlier, and we talked about it at every event that we do training on. And, you know, matter of fact, we'll probably, on one of these trainings on the Tuesday night, we'll talk more about systems and why why are systems important, following systems, um, being duplicatable? Uh, there's, folks, there's no need to change up, you know, in your presentation the way that you do business. There's no reason to feel like you've got to change something all the time because the facts are the facts and the, the stories are the stories. And, you know, running the analysis, following the GPS system from the beginning to the end and, and what it accomplishes, you know, having that system is really critical 
so that you can plug into it, that it is consistent every time you're doing the same thing, and it's duplicatable to that new person so they can pick up on it and they can learn it and they know what to say every single time. I mean, I have been in this business a long, long time in sales business, and I have told the same story over and over and over and over and over and over again a thousand times because it is the story. It is the facts. Yep. So it's important to have that system and that duplication. So developing your strong story, stay in touch with your past clients who purchased. It's a great way to keep that story and, and keep your, 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 you know, keep on the pulse of what's going on with the product. Use analysis results that you've run for other people. If you see an analysis result that's just mind-boggling, like somebody's going from 28 years down to six or seven or eight years, you know, definitely that's something you maybe want to save and you want to hold on to and, and maybe talk to them a little bit about it when you sell them the program. Why are they so excited? Take notes on this. Record it. Get information out of your clients. Use the analysis results from other team members. If you're brand new to the company and you need some good personal stories, reach out to your upline. Reach out to your certified trainer that's run analysis and these closed deals and get some of their stories and utilize their stories. And obviously, if you can purchase a program, start developing your own story. Uh, ask probing questions of your client. How has their experience with training and client support been as they go through the process? Uh, when are they actually scheduled to pay off their debts now as opposed to when they first had their analysis run and first saw those initial results? Have they made any changes? You know, how much interest are they currently scheduled uh, to eliminate or how much will they be saving? Have they altered anything? Have they started really playing with the product? Um, you know, what is it that's jumping out of them? Have they made any changes in their spending habits to improve the forecast of the program? Are they starting to go into it like a video game and saying, you know, wow, if I've got 9.3 years, what do I have to do to get 8.9 years? What do I have to do to get 8.5 years? You know, we see this, and actually when we do the live meeting during the demo, uh, when we do that as part of the training, we get client, you know, prospective agents and clients that are there in the room that are like, what would it take to get to the next level? And so this becomes a, a motivator for the individual. And then asking them those questions allows them to relate their success to you, which keeps them more deeply involved in the product and keeps you in pulse. Have they had the opportunity to use the emergency fund or true cost features of the Money Max account? Have they done anything new? What aspects of the Money Max account do they like the best? Uh, there is a world of information you can glean from your past clients in helping you to develop a compelling story, but you know there's another piece to staying in touch with your past clients, and that is fortune in the follow-up, staying in touch with those past clients. I know for me alone, staying in touch with past clients, it not only helps you stay on the pulse of the program, but they many times if you have a past client, they may not be an agent. And they're like, you know, I was showing the program to a friend of mine, and they were blown away with what the program can do and what I told them, you know, is my story where I started and where I am now. You know, is there, if I wanted to get them on the program, what would I have to do? I mean, is there a better question that you could get, Steve? I mean, honestly, from somebody that was just a client, what do I have to do to offer this to somebody else? Yeah, I think, I think a couple of things that's happening, one of the main things as you're going through this, it made me think, hey, and by following up and, and talking to my client, it helps me develop the stories and find out the testimonials and where they at. But the other thing is, are they? It, it helps me find out if they're using it. Because if they're not using it, I've got to make sure that they, get, they start using it because they're, they're, they're just missing out on such a big deal. So it helps, it helps them that way. And then by utilizing and telling, you know, their story or sharing things with their friends, it helps them to get referrals. And that's one of the things that helps you to stay in business. There's a lot of parts to our business and what we do, you know, recruiting and staying in a warm market, but it also helps you get referrals from people. I mean, they, they, people do not mind sharing with their friends, yeah, I'd be interested in hearing about that. So it's a very easy program to get referrals from. Yep, and, and I want you to understand that if you're following up with these clients, and even some of your past clients that maybe didn't move forward, 
and actually purchase program maybe right now is not the right time. I've actually received referrals uh, from people that I didn't sell the program to, but I stayed in touch with them, and they were like, you know, you were so honest with me, maybe the results didn't work out for them and it wasn't the right thing. I've received referrals from those people. I've received referrals, you know, calling back on people, you know, three months, six months later, and they're like, you know, hey, you still doing that debt thing? Can we revisit that? Can we take a look at that? But I'm telling you right now, your most powerful entryway to a brand new client, the most efficient way to connect with a brand new prospect is have a referral from somebody they know. Um, you, you get uh, one of your clients referred to you from somebody that's already on the program. I got to tell you, about half your job is already done. But don't make the mistake of shortchanging them through the process. Take them through the sales process. Take them through, you know, doing your first appointment and getting the analysis and setting the stage for them and trying to disqualify and letting them know, you know, at that first appointment how you do business, your rules of engagement, you know, that during the first appointment it's really to find out whether or not we're going to even need a second appointment. You may find out before I do that a second this isn't for you and a second appointment is not necessary. So I'm hoping you'll be honest enough with me to tell me that, but you may find that in this first appointment that, yes, this is very valid information and a second appointment is needed. What I want to let you know is during this first appointment, I'm not going to try to sell you anything. This first appointment is to get your numbers, let's run the analysis, and we're going to come back and do a second appointment. now. By the time I arrive for that second appointment, then I'm going to be anticipating that you will make a decision of a yes or a no by the second or if absolutely necessary a third appointment. So taking them through the process of letting them know how you do business, getting that analysis on that first appointment, and then moving into that second appointment, and this is all things you will learn through a certified field trainer. I have a lot of people, you know, uh, calling out right now, you know, hey, when can we get the GPS selling system? When, can, when you go through the training, you have to do two split sales, and you have to do two personal sales, and then you have to take 101, 102, and 103. You cannot take 101, 102, or 103 before you have done your two split sales and you throw two personal sales. So your first lean, your first introduction to the GPS selling system will be through that certified trainer closing your first deal. And your second exposure to the GPS system will be your second split sale with a certified trainer using the system and doing the closing. Then you'll utilize it on your next two sales, take 101, 102, 103. Now you're a certified trainer and you're ready to get out there and start training other people how to do the exact same process that you went through. So make no mistake, uh, the, this criteria that we've placed for training for certified field trainers, it's not just something we grabbed out of the air, and it's not just something that we thought we'd take for a whirl. We know this process works in building a dynamic agent field that has strong base shops, that are pushing out strong executive directors with, as I said it before, and I said it on just about every call, we need an army of certified field trainers that know how to close deals and are willing to get out there and willing to help people close deals and teach them the process and take them through uh, that process. In summary, there's nothing as powerful as a compelling personal borrowed story. Using the product will give you the most compelling story. Have several stories committed to memory. Share the message with everyone. Don't make a judgment on who should hear the message and who should not. Share the message with everyone. No one forgets a great story, whether it's a story of success or failure. A great story builds your credibility, especially if it's a, a story of personal triumph or failure, and especially if it's a great story that's coming from a referral, somebody that referred you in the door. Stay positive, stay focused, have fun, trust your training. We are here to assist you. We are on a march. We are on a move. We are breaking records daily, uh, as Steve has said. 
And uh, I'm just going to let Steve have a couple little closing remarks here, but we want to thank everybody for uh, jumping on the call with us this evening. And so, Steve, for personal guard story, everything you heard, what is your big takeaway uh, that you want to give to the, to the people out in the field this evening? You know, I think just relating to people um, and helping helping them hear that, hey, this this happened to me. I was in this situation financially, or I know someone else that was in this situation financially. And those help other individuals relate that, hey, I'm not the only one. I'm not the only person out here who hasn't managed my money well. You know, I do need to do something. I do need to get on track. And by relating these stories, it helps them to, to feel more comfortable with moving on to the next step and not getting their analysis done. And so, uh, you know, I think it's, it's, a, it, it, it's a real important key and part to what we do and what we share with, with people. Um, you know, I'll share with you, uh, again, we're, we're winding up to the end of the year. Um, this is a great time, folks. More debt is created during this time of the year than any other time of the year. Families are going out spending money that they don't have, and they know it. We know it. You know it. And what if they're going to answer if they realize they're doing it? You know, it, it's easy to say, "Hey, listen, did you go out and kind of kind of spend a lot this Christmas? How things go about that? What if there's a way to pay that Christmas off and to get out of debt and to not have that burden?" So this is a fantastic time of the year to share with people. Uh, Talk with your family members. Be around them. Don't be afraid to approach them. They know what's happening. You can get to share that, share that message with them. So uh, hope everyone has a great week. We'll be here next Tuesday evening with some more training. And I uh, hope that you have a great week. If there's anything that we can do, just let us know. From Steve and Mac, let's get out there and do it big. Let's get out there and do it right. But at the very least, let's get out there and do it right now. This is Mac and Steve saying bye-bye for now. Y'all have a good week. Thanks.